hey guys i'm back again with another video this video is introduction to ensp what is ensp ensp is a network simulator for hawaii similar to packet tracer or gns3 when you for for cisco devices as you know that for cisco devices we are using gns3 or packet tracer for simulating so when we come to hawaii technology we are using ensp so the main function of ENSP is to simulate network. So now let's explore the features of uh, ENSP. <coughs> so as you can see, we have our 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 connections. More auto meaning it automatically choose the right uh, connections for your topology. Other devices we have cloud. We have the hub, which is the old device that they didn't use in networking. So we also have our end devices here. We have the likes of PC client and cell phone this is when you come to VoIP we also have firewall a wireless LAN we have the switches meaning you can see here now we have uh, the series of uh, the series of switches here so we have our routers meaning these are the series of uh, routers in ENSP so before we can jump any further let's come here and help button help button and turn to overview so meaning this is a little bit introduction for 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 ensp enterprise network simulator platform ensp enterprise network simulator platform is an extensible you can read on your own for hawaii technology the the features are here explained so when you come to the device feature if you want to see the features of the switch you can come here also this section describes the feature that the switch support we have its support feature, a sub feature, and description. I mean here it's a it support uh, if, if, if I need features and VLANs and the virtual lens. It also support uh, security and management. So now let's come to explore the the switch the switch in fact the in fact sorry the router features. We have this section describe the features that an access router supports. We have its support a wide area network it support local area network this is a very very useful information in networking as general as you can see the very protocol here ip routings these are the protocols we have a vpn which is a, a virtual private network so let's come to the main menu meaning this is the interface let's come to a toolbar wow see here this is very 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 clearly explained we have a tool or maybe we can say an icon this is tool allow you to do what meaning if you can see here this tool here you can click here to view the view image this is the full image it allow you to create a topology and therefore we have a, a move to move a workspace we have a hand here we have a to delete icon we have a description frame this is more like adding a text we have start a device and stop a device meaning here in ensp you have to start that device before we can be able to do some configuration it's more like powering that device on this is more like powering that device off so now let's jump to our ensp so like they have explained this is an interface to start a device to stop the device as you hover to open you can see the message to open command line interface to add to text I mean this is a description so for me to create my new topology i have to come here this is a new so now let's take my uh, pc here and then take second client here so let me take come to the uh, switches let me take a switch here maybe let me take a, a, a router a router so now let's take my connections let's put auto which automatically select the right uh, media for my connection or my topology so now let's start the device meaning let's power our device or all we can come in device and click it and then start the device come in device here yeah, and then start the device so when you come uh, the switch then the device or switch the switches and the routers i've seen they take a little bit of time to 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 start okay now it's successfully started okay and let's come say here you can put a text which is a description you can say welcome 
welcome welcome to AC IA series okay and I can be able to to move and I can put whatever that I want so now let's come to giving our devices IP addresses we have a static uh, DHCP which is dynamic host configuration protocol now let's say 192.168.10. Maybe let's say three. So followed by the default subnet mask for class C. As you can see, that my IP address is class C. So no 255, no 244. So remind for my mistake 255, 255. Oh, what's going on? Sorry, 255, no 244. Therefore, you have to say apply. If you don't apply, your client won't save that IP address, so then apply. It's more like save. Therefore, come to here. One nine two one six eight ten dot four followed by subnet mask two four four two four four two four four. Then apply. Now let's see if this device they can communicate. You can say yes. Run a ping. 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 192.168.10.4 Now they can communicate. Let's try to check this one here. Ping. 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 192.168.10.4 Oh no 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 sorry for my mistake it's dot it's dot 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 three not dot two now they can come so what is very very interesting about dnsp it, it comes with a wire shark it comes with wire shark the moment you store the the ensp you ensp you automatically there's a common option however you have to install the the, the wire shark so what is a wire shark wire shark is a free open source packet analyzer it is very very essential tool for security professional and, and for network administrator as a network administrator you have to monitor you have to analyze what's going on in your network so now let's see how does that power wireshark function here with any our nsp so you just can come here and then see start capture data capture data then the wireshark will start let's wait for it okay now the workshop it's starting so now let's 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 generate let's generate let's generate the, the, the traffic to to see to see you can see ping here you can see okay they 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 can communicate you can see so now let's go into our shop and to see what's the what's really going on to our shop so as you can see here we have our our our, our client IP address to do dot four meaning which is the source then the destination this is when we are where we, we were running we were running a, 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 a ICMP request and then this one reply so this is a, what we shall we can can see that this is an SMP request then reply this is a source is which is at line two this is a, 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 a source where we were being so that's where shark working together with nsp to see the traffic that is happening so now that's a little bit introduction for our dnsp so looking forward for sharing much of the series much of the video as we are going to explore the cna series thank you very much guys hope you enjoy the video peace